today's knife review is the uh, Topps Dragonfly 4.5. It's uh, quote unquote the Canadian bushcraft knife. So stick around. We'll do a uh, review of the specs and put it through a little workout as well. So it's a uh, full tang blade, 9.75 inches um, overall with a four and a half inch long uh, blade. It's called a hunter's point blade as far as the uh, tip here. It's made from 1095 steel. It's got a Rockwell hardness between 56 to uh, 58, so it's a very tough knife. And it's got a uh, bead blast finish. So the scales are uh, black canvas micarta. It is a very, very comfortable knife in the hand. And uh, it's a little over five inches for uh, the handle itself. So for the sheath, it's a uh, stitched leather sheath. It has the TOPS logo embossed into the leather here. It's got a loop for a ferro rod, and we'll get to the, uh, the ferro rod in a moment. This knife has a, uh, a dangler on here to carry it, and it's got very good retention. Overall, it's a very well-crafted um, sheath that keeps the knife very, very snug. So ferro rod number one. Okay. If I use the actual scraper on the ferro rod, rainy, nice hot sparks. I did bring a uh, backup ferro rod. And uh, not only does the knife not want to throw sparks, it dangerously wants to slip right off the uh, ferro rod. So unfortunately, they should have made this a, um, a sharper spine and uh, they should have made this work with a, a multitude of different um, ferro rods. And uh, the two different ferro rods that I, that I brought out today, uh, this knife is not... Uh, working with those. I found a nice dry piece of wood here so for feather sticks it's actually producing some very nice curls. Earlier I did a review on the my Hella Diddy Galagoo and it's certainly better than that blade. At least producing some uh, half decent curls. So it does a good job on the uh, feather sticks. It certainly bites this dry wood very nicely. I just wanted to really quickly and easily build up a nice point. It does a good job on that. If I want to chop to take down a, uh, does an adequate job. Not as good as my, uh, my Condor primitive push tool or my custom knife uh, from Wilder Forge, but it does an adequate job for a, uh, for a blade that size. Now for batoning. I mean, it does. does bite into the wood very very good all right and now if we wanted to actually baton this one down I didn't bring a saw so this is what I have to work with it does a good job this one's a little bit wet breaks it down pretty good and that's it um, overall I, you know it's a very capable blade the the look and the style may not be for um, for everyone it's it's maybe 
like most top knives bordering on the uh, the tactical look um, and the only drawback that it has you know I, I, I'm not quite certain why it's got a loop here for a ferro rod I've got um, two different ferro rods both two different types of um, material and uh, it, it didn't work too well with either of them other than that it's a uh, it's a capable knife you know for the um, for the price point I'd probably consider buying this if